In the uh, beginning of the legendary WMMS, John Gorman was the architect of that sound, the radio station, and he's into something brand new and as contemporary as today with the Interbelt, a way to, to link up to radio stations all around the world. John, we got some memories from the WMMS today as we, oh, okay. uh, as we transition up to Channel 3's web world. Let's go up there and uh, take a look. Now you're going to have to hook that on again when we get back up top, so. okay? <laughs> okay? That's all right. Just let's let's get up there and then we will rewire you. What uh, what are the memories you brought in from WMMS? Some pictures from what? This would be back in the 70s. Oh, I think 70s, early 80s. Have a seat. That's something we didn't think of. We can't see what's being shown up here. Yeah. There's no air yeah, monitor. Yeah. Okay, we're on. Yeah, yeah. The uh, memories from WMMS. I guess not. Last word I had before we came up was, we are going to see those. Let's get to today. It's okay. called Radio Crow, eh? It's a uh, internet portal. It uh, allows you to listen to and actually watch TV stations from all over the world. TV? There's a few internet stations. Why do you call stations. it radio, then, if it's Well, TV? it's primarily radio. Yeah. Uh, and the TV, you know, broadband is, is still something that is it's, it's in its infancy right now. So we're mainly concentrating on radio. Well, that's all right, because I like radio, and uh, what is it they say about Cleveland Radio these days? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say? I don't... I'm not going to say I don't it, think I can say Yeah, it. you know, why not? We're on over-the-air television, so we'll just say it's in a bad state of affairs, yeah. right? That's what a lot of people and, say. And really, I mean, it all happened due to uh, the consolidation, and uh, companies paid too much for these stations, and now to service the debt, they have to add a lot of commercials. They really have to cut back. Uh, I mean, the, many of the uh, evening shows and even afternoon drive, for that matter, are coming from cities other than Cleveland. Yeah. And uh, a lot of programs which used to be live and are voice tracked in advance, often from other markets. Uh, it was the economics. And, uh, you know, we sound like we're maybe being contradictory here because this is a way to listen to stations all around the world. I went on it last weekend. I looked under an oldies format. I found a station in London and I said, yep. shoot, I could listen to this forever. It was very entertaining. You've got some of yep. that? You can show us some of that? Yeah. Actually, the, uh, the station from uh, London, uh, the interesting thing about the internet is uh, there, was a, there was a book called uh, This Clustered World by Michael J. Weiss. And he talks about the fact that, you know, we have in common 60 something different lifestyles. But there is uh, the one thing we have in common is you'll see certain cities that match up with other cities. Mm -hmm. For instance, Cleveland in is London? very... Cleveland is very much like a northeast city. We have more in common with Boston, oh, New York, Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Sure. Then we do it Columbus. Columbus has more in, in, in common with uh, Dayton and Indianapolis. Yeah, I think Ohio starts somewhere just south of Medina, and we're part of exactly. that kind of eastern. Yeah, the further Mexico, south you go, right? the, yeah. the more well, Midwest Ohio. it becomes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, for that reason, that's why the, the British Oldie Station is popular, because there's, there's, a, there's a link between... The music that's always been popular in Cleveland is also the same kind of music that has popularity in England and in, in Paris and uh, Stockholm. So you start to find these connections that even though these stations may not be local, they do have a similar local flavor to them. Okay, can we hear some of this too? I guess we're on uh, one of the world websites. This is probably the London station, but I'm not hearing it. There we go. You don't have any of these. No. Well, this is a dance floor filler right now, so we? we can start. Absolutely. This is one you can dance around your handbag to. On Capital Gold. This is Shalomar. Take that. Okay, that's London and that's oldies. London. And uh, one of the stations you found interesting to listen to was out of Sweden? Yeah, there's another station, Stockholm, Sweden, Wow FM, which is, it's amazing because worldwide, the music that is being played on, on radio, on, on uh, contemporary radio, is uh, English language. So no matter where you go, you'll be listening, and the breaks are in Swedish, but all the music is in English. <laughs> Let's see if we can pick that up from Sweden. No? Okay, the problem is not with John and Radio Crow. There was a problem with, uh, with us and our video. But it, it's easy to get to, right? RadioCrow.com. Yeah, RadioCrow.com. And uh, you don't pay anything to go no, in there? It's, it's advertiser It's completely supported, free. It's right? advertiser supported and uh, merchandise in other areas. But I mean, it is free to the uh, consumer. You can and go on and listen. Not only listen to uh, radio stations, but there's also uh, news, uh, entertainment news. 
Is this a wave in the future? Is there going to be some way we can get this in our cars yeah. or well, on little it, portable yeah. things? It's, it's the same way that FM developed. You know, and one time FM and find me, and, and uh, it was very difficult right. to, uh, you, you know, an FM radio cost twice as much as an AM radio. They weren't and in cars? They weren't then. in cars back then. That's the same arguments I hear today about the Internet. And also, there was another thing, is you had the cultural change that happened in, in the United States, where the music that was becoming popular couldn't be played on AM radio with its type, you know, breaking mm -hmm. after every song. Longer cuts. Album and, cuts. you know, we went through the progressive rock period and all that. Today, you have uh, uh, formats like techno. It's one of the most popular formats with so the adults. So this will be good for niche, for, niche, for the niche yeah. programming that's but, a reality yeah, both, today. Both niche and... Uh, and mainstream. And broad, broader but, programs. Yeah, and, but a lot of the niche programming, for instance, you have all blues stations on the internet. You have all reggae. Uh, there are gay stations. Uh, you name it. And there's a lot and of opportunity and room for everything there. John Gorman of RadioCrow.com. Thank you, John. Thank you. Kim.